You guys have been so patient for part three of Turn On The Pumping Lights. Let's go. If you haven't seen part one and part two, you've got to watch it to understand exactly what I'm about to explain. But this part, it's going to come full circle and explain everything. Although I'm extremely gifted, the one thing I've never been able to figure out is my spirit animal. In high school, in fact, I actually lived on the local Shoshone reservation for quite some time. I lived next door to an extremely wise elder woman. In fact, she's the one that taught me so many of the incredible things that I teach you now today. I remember begging her constantly to tell me what my spirit animal was, but she always refused. She didn't mind teaching me everything she knew, but she said, little one, it is not your time to know. But one day, when the time is right, you'll know. Boy, was she right. This all occurred after my overnight stay in the Goldfield Hotel for a paranormal investigation, one in which I did not go home alone. And this incident happened after my husband's turn on the light dream. One day my son called me and he was really upset. He said, mom, the house stinks. It stinks bad. I can't stay in here. I was like, why? You're kidding. Our house never stinks. We're very clean people. I chalked it up to being a mom of boys. Maybe it was dirty socks or a cup of noodle he had forgotten under the bed. You know, I'm an extremely busy real estate agent and I come in and out of my home all day long. I had just left my house about 20 minutes before my husband called. When I answered the phone, he was actually gagging, finding it difficult to even talk. He was like, babe, something in the house stinks. I can't, I can't be here. Something's wrong. And I was like, wait, I, no, I just left the house 20 minutes ago and it smells fine. It smells amazing. Cause you know, I smell good. He was literally having a very difficult time, even talking beyond the gagging. He said, I think something crawled up into the vents and died. I've got to investigate, figure it out and get it out of here because this is bad. Now, what does auntie say? There is no such thing as coincidences, right? Because I had left to go show a home to one of my incredible cleaning gals. At that time, I had two. One was strictly LDS, while the other was gifted like me. And Jean Marie, my LDS friend, she is completely 100% aware of my gifts and the other gal that was cleaning for us at the time. And she loved and embraced us both for it. Before I go any further, I guess I should explain one thing. There are many ways to know if you have presence of a D word in your home. And one of them is a foul stench of death. Now let's carry on. Anyway, she started to tell me, she said, Colette, I got to tell you something. When we got to your house, it stunk so bad as if something was dead and rotting in your home. It was so bad that G Marie and I had decided that we were going to look for the source of the stench for about 20 minutes. But if we couldn't find it, we had to leave. We couldn't be in your home. Guys, I had never smelt this smell in my house at all. And again, we're very clean people. She said it was only minutes later that suddenly the front door swung open and a huge bright light just came in. And Jean Marie can attest to this. That rotten stench absolutely vanished, completely gone. They looked around the corner and saw I had come through the door, but I wasn't alone. She said there was easily an eight to 10 foot silver bale wolf walking slowly in right behind me as if it was on a mission and there to protect. And just like that, the D word was gone. I guess I know my spirit animal now.